A dealer and said, hey, I need new tires. Where's she going to find the wheels at? Right. All, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Right. You could always stack them underneath their bed someplace, two on this side and two on that side. The other two's going to be on the truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we go ahead buy and the we, wheels. we buy the wheels, we replace the front tires, new we tires. buy the the um, master cylinder and the choke, manual choke. Right. He might need a heater core in the front. We might have to plumb a heater core into the front so she's got a heater again. Listen, them buses have got a heater in the back and they got one in the front. You think I he just doesn't know mechanical stuff? Because it's possible they took the heater core out because it leaked and they just That's what I'm out. saying. No, they disconnected it because it leaked. And they left the ones hooked in the back up so it would still have heat in it. It was just clear back there. Think about it. It's a bus in the wintertime. You're not going to heat the kids in the back from there. So all of them, they put the little heater in the back back there to heat it. And then, heat. look, here, here's your heat. Right. See what I mean? Let me just cut to the chase. I'm not seeing anything here that scares me. scares me away. Are you? Not yet. But we ain't looked at it yet. We haven't looked at it yet. Okay. No, everything he's telling me, that don't bother me. Uh, now, the, the cable, it's a little rough on them. I think you got to pull the axle out of them. So you jack it up and pull this side up, and you pull the axle out, and then you got to change it. We have Larry right here. You can't see him. I'm going to show you Larry, but I've got to have this camera angle so uh, the light behind Larry doesn't mess up the shot. So I'm going to show Larry. There's Larry right there. And here's me sitting at my computer. I may not be in the whole shot. The, the camera, we're working in a tight space. But I'm gonna write down the questions that we're gonna ask and then call this vehicle if I can find a key. Here's our list of questions. What do we wanna ask them? Um, you need this to ride on? Okay, let's pull up the vehicle. Ford cutaway. No. Gone. It's, it? it's gone. Yeah. That's how fast. I was you, afraid it was you gone. Can't wait, you can't no. wait on somebody. No. That's what I said. Well, it's gone. Okay. We're starting from scratch again. But you had some other candidates, didn't you? Well, right here's a 2002 with 230,000 miles on it. It's a 7.3. Yeah. I mean, that one had 94,000 miles on it. Uh, it's gone. Gosh, darn it. Then there's that 2003. It's got like 113,000, but it's gas. Yeah, that one was the best one. Yeah. It just was the For best the price. one. This says Ford Power Stroke Diesel Shuttle Bus. It's big. It's it's probably bigger than I would want for her. It's that one in Bullhead City. That's further than Las Vegas. All right, I'm gonna yeah, go. I'm gonna go get my tools organized and look for stuff tonight, and we'll call on it tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe we'll wind up with something closer. So we're waiting on. This time though, we find one. We let's call it. And go get Let's it. just go get it and not try I to involve anybody else. Son of a bitch, because I like that brown one. I did too. I mean, I liked it better than that white and blue one. Oh, I, mean, I did I too. That white and blue one that we looked at, you know what I, I mean? Well, it had a lot of miles on it, but I'm just saying I loved it. But that one there, I like better than it. I, I did. That I, would be just great. It was the one, but yeah. we sat on our hands. We sat on our hands waiting to get somebody to go out and look at it to live there. That's okay, the we'll. Uh, we just need to go get a rent a car and just go get the son of a, or at least look at it. I know. Right. It costs money, but I mean. Well, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get everything organized for the rest of the day. Look at stuff tonight, yeah. and then uh, see what kind of a game plan we can come up with tomorrow. That's what's going on. Sets and get upset or right. We thought about it or anything. We just we just lost it. And we're gonna go again. We're gonna get it. Checking the oil. Putting some fluids into the wiper reserve and gassing up and heading to Denver where we have two vehicles lined up to look at for Tamara.
It's about five, almost six o'clock. We'll have three more hours of sunlight. <clears throat> so we're not gonna, you know, we'll just have to see how many miles we log today. But I'd much rather leave today and wake up tomorrow three or four hours closer than worry about waking up in the morning. I tend to not sleep good when I know I've got a big day ahead of me the next day, a big drive or something. So it wouldn't even matter. Might as well hit the road now, drive till we don't feel like driving anymore. And then uh, get into town tomorrow and take a look <clears throat> at what's gonna be available to us. I've got a pretty strong feeling we're gonna be coming back with a rig for Tamara. So I'm pretty pumped about that. It's gonna be June in a minute. We're gonna have a rig in a minute. Everything is about to change. Everything is about to change and I'm excited. I can feel it. Okay, Google, take me to Denver, Colorado. Here we are, never a dull moment. We left Ogden to come to Denver. Now we're in Denver. We came to look at two vehicles. One of them was a four-wheel drive ambulance with a big 6.0 uh, gas engine in it. That one's gone. We've got another vehicle that we're looking at right now, which is a, a shuttle bus with a 7.3 power stroke in it. We're pretty psyched about it. We're waiting on the guy to get back to us to meet up with him in Parker, which is a little ways further south. We're here right now at 7th and Logan. We've got Governor's Park in the background. And uh, while we just got to Denver, we've only been in Denver a couple of hours at the time that we're recording this, we got a text message from Kay where we're staying in Ogden stating that we need to be out of that property by Saturday or by the weekend. And today's Wednesday, I believe, uh, stating that we can't be there because the neighbors complained. I don't know why. We're a film crew on a piece of property getting ready to film an event and we can't be there. So you have to kind of decide how much of this you want to wrestle with. Do you want to try to stand up for yourself and try to be there in spite of maybe some neighbors not wanting you there? Maybe we have too many people there. We've got Boom Hour and uh, Evan along with uh, Tisha, me, and uh, Larry. Maybe the fact that we've got so many people there scares people. Maybe they think we're a homeless colony starting to proliferate in the neighborhood. I have no idea. I just uh, sent her a text letting her know that we would be back in a few days and we would uh, move the van build location to someplace else it's going to be a situation where we're gonna have to come up with a materials list now and we'll be less likely to pick up materials from the hardware store on the fly and I don't know how we're gonna deal with getting packages I know that some of the stuff came in from the Amazon wish list and was coming to her location and so we're gonna have to figure out a solution to that but uh, so never a dull moment is the is the I guess the theme of this video but these are the things that we go through. These are the things that everybody has to go through in one manner or another. We don't have any health problems. You know, the, the vehicle that we came in, my van doesn't have any mechanical problems. So there's some good stuff going on too. And we're gonna go look at this shuttle a little bit, the shuttle bus a little bit later, see what it's like, see if we wanna pull the trigger on it. 
and we'll bring you along and keep you updated. Talk to you soon. Twenty-eight miles from where we left from, and here we are. Savannah, you're gonna have to stay. And let's put the windows up so the dogs can't get out, but give them some air. Let's see what we get. I'm kind of nervous about these wires with the dogs. Okay, you ready? He said the key was in it. I'm gonna pause this. There it is, behind the fence. He said we could uh, climb the fence and uh, he said the key was in it or with it or something. So let's go check it out. This could be Tamara's new home. I'm excited. Hopefully he doesn't have a big dog. Oh, could you turn the headlights off please? I gotta find out where that fuse is. He's got race cars on the side. That looks like a wrap. Looks like there's a door. I have to see what the deal is with that. What do you think so far? I think the wheels are good so far. The other side, that looks like it's some kind of radiator for maybe the AC or something. And see if you can open the door. He said this was plexiglass. And that looks kind of like deteriorated. I'm worried about rust on the frame. Yeah, there is That's rust down thought. here. And there's a bit of rust under here and stuff, so we'll have to fix that. There's a lot of rust right here. Here, hold this for a second. Let me see what the bottom looks like underneath it. Oh, it's got a lot of rust. The exhaust is rusty, but the exhaust could be replaced. It looks like it needs shocks. There's a box right there that's rusted through and I don't know what it's for to be a deal breaker, you know? Yeah. I wonder yeah. what this is, this right here. All right, let's hear it. I don't know if that's the right light, but he said it's only 20 seconds. So he's got to heat up a glow plug because it's a diesel. Come around, I'll open the door. Chairs and this, these chairs maybe, they've got seat belts even. I don't know, it's kind of nice that this is already here. I don't, we would, don't we're, gonna, we'd use it? we're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo this whole motif. It's gonna have a different feel to it. I think the stuff over there could be air conditioning. Just lights? The lights. Yeah, it looks like lights. She could totally grow pot in here. Right. <laughs> in this state, it would be legal. I don't think it's legal to grow it in your car, though. This window looks like it's not sealed. That could just be a latch problem. Yeah. Or not. I like how wide it is. I like the size of it. I think it will make it would make a nice home.
I think I'm gonna make a nice home. I wonder how we can get power to power my. There's a socket right there. I don't know what all this stuff is. Doesn't come with the microphone like the others. No. Sad. It runs though. It sounds good. This yeah. right here is the pretty crappy. I like, I like that you can stand up in it. I like it that it's not a t really huge one. You know, it's not like twice as long as this. I like this length. So I just put my foot on the brake and it must have disengaged. It's got like an a automatic choke. I don't know anything about diesels. So I don't know. If I put my foot on the brake, that goes away. Use overdrive on highway only. Overdrive's a button. So you put it in drive, and then when you're on the highway, you push that button to go into overdrive. What's that? That door shutting, probably. Oh. Oh, yeah. Here. Got some speakers. I wonder if he's got the rest of that. We'd probably be putting another one in with Bluetooth anyway. But that's all big. That's all a big storage right there. The side mirrors. Are those the ones you wanted to take out? Because no. I think those are the only mirrors. No, those ones got. are fine. Those ones are fine. Yeah, this is sad about the door. Yeah, it some work. We but have to fix it. It's 100 and like 75. No, that's probably like 142,000 miles. No, it says 429,544. Okay. 400, that's an awful lot of miles. Yeah. The engine sounds good. Here's the thing, man. Um, I thought it was 176,000 miles, and the and the thing says 429544, and it doesn't have a hundredths or tenths. So if that's true, then this thing's got a half a million miles on it. It fires right up, but it's got some rust underneath. I'm kind of thinking that we might want to just keep on driving to Sundance. Sundance is another, like... 250 miles away or something and uh, then it would be you know it wouldn't be that much total further to get back do you know how how critical it is that we get back in time to be out by the weekend what the hell is going on over there we're gonna be out by the weekend I sent you a text you didn't see the text I sent you on uh, Facebook no. I got a text from Kay that said I'm at work but my kids told me that the people in the back got to be out by the weekend because the city, somebody complained to the city. And I don't know what they complained for. You know, I don't know what violation we're in violation of. I don't need it. But I sent it to you and I sent it to Evan. And so they want us gone and we were looking at places on the other side of... Uh, of Ogden. There's some places we can go that are about 45 miles away from there that's BLM land to, to build it out. And I want to I want to hear what you have to say about this, Larry, because I want to get your opinion. I could bring this thing back. If it's in fact got 420,000 miles on it, I think that's too many. Maybe he's just it talking about the engine, though. The motor still perfect. Everything else on that truck is starting to wear out. The front end components, the brake components, the hub components. Yeah, and also I wanted to say that this thing needs some body work. It like needs, the, you know, the glass doors that open. There's a big gap that's been duct taped shut, and we'd have to fix all that stuff. We couldn't just give it to Tamara, you know what I mean, and make it her. I mean, even if we use plywood, but I'm not a body guy. I don't have like body work experience. And so how much of this do we want to take on? It's a cute little shuttle bus. It's the perfect size, 
But if it's actually got 429,000 miles on it and it needs all this body work, the other choice is I call Brandon in Sundance and pay him. I mean, he may not budge off of 5,900. And if he doesn't, then that still gives us about 1,500, 1,800 to, to build it out with. But we know it's more solid, even though it's a, it's a gasoline engine. It's a lot less now. Well, I think that I think that if it's it's not even I'm wondering if I even want to call him back and ask him about the mileage because I'm thinking even if it if there's some kind of answer he has that it really only does have 175,000 miles on it, I still think that it's the the body's too rough. Right. How much body work experience do you have? <laughs> it needs a lot of insulation. See, I don't either. I've never worked with Bondo. I've never worked with fiberglass. And um, I just don't want to give something to her that's all shifty, you know? No, because, I mean, then you're just throwing good money away from me. I, I think so, too. I mean, even this door doesn't really open and close good. It's not stuff that we, we could probably fix it, but that coupled with the miles and... I don't know. We might have to buy new door frames and stuff. I don't know how much that stuff would cost. If it would be like 600 bucks for a new door with windows and frames. What I'm getting at is I think we might be better off driving to the one up in Sundance that's more money up front, but probably a much better vehicle. At least go up there and look at it if I was you, Jim. It's only 200 some miles away. It won't take you that long to get up there and you still come back by the weekend. Right, right. All right, man. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to boogie out of here. I'll call Bill and let him know that we're going to go look at another one. Um, and I'll ask him about the miles. And I may come back, you know, a little bit on the cash poor side, but having a nice shuttle bus to work from. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, we're going to fix it the best we can. Plus, you got a lot of stuff coming and dips and stuff. So, you know, that'll help a little bit out there. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to Right. I mean, we could also go on a cheaper floor and a cheaper... You know, we might be able to do some things on the cheap, too, if we just build it out of, uh, if we build her a, a kitchen table out of uh, Douglas fir studs and then put some uh, linoleum, or not linoleum, but some, uh, you know, some oak plywood over it or something. There might be ways we can build it without it costing a lot of money. Yeah, we might be able to find a, a, a salvage yard for uh, campers and go find a table, pedestal, and all that stuff and get kicked by. Habitat for Humanity might have stuff. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, we can always look. All right, so you're in agreement that we ought to go ahead and get a better rig for the money and come back with a little less money but a little nicer rig. Probably twice as much money but a twice as better rig. Well, I'm not there, but I'm just telling you my opinion. You know, rig with a couple of some thousand miles on him is a good motor and stuff. Uh, you know, there are other things going to be going wrong with it that's going to give her a fit. I'd better get one that's a lot more reliable all right man we're gonna get out of here and uh head on to sundance we'll get out of here and start heading our way to sundance right now and it looks like we got to wash those sheets or buy new sheets before we go to bed because i saw what the docs did yeah. or what savannah did on those yeah. sheets yeah so we got that going too so maybe we can pop out into a walmart on, as our way on our way out of town and get some sheets yeah and just go so let's hit it all right so I like it a lot, honestly, like I really do. I think there's a lot of potential and the engine does sound good, but with the fact that it's got over 400,000 miles, I wouldn't pay anything more than maybe 1,500 at the most, you know? I don't even think we want it with that yeah. many miles on it. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a question of the price. But like, even then, like if, if we paid maybe 1,000 for it or even 1,500 for it, that gives us like, six thousand dollars that we could spend on improving it and i think that that could make a difference but honestly it's just it's it's just that he said the mileage was different than what it is what it's showing what yeah. it's showing and i wonder if that means that he put in a new engine and that's the mileage he sees on the engine right. i think we should talk to him and ask him about it okay but uh yeah. And meanwhile, let's I do like Brent. it a lot. It's I do got too. a lot of characters, really cute. It's a little rougher on the body than I would like. I don't like all those holes in it. Yeah, I just I don't want to give her something with problems. 
I am worried about leaks. Yeah, we could probably fix them, but I don't want to take the chance and I don't want it to be all hokey because I'm not yeah. a body man. Yeah. And Larry's not a body man, so that's two no but body then, men buying something needs body work. But then at the same time, we could get the experience doing body work, you know, and that would help us in the future for when we are doing. Well, I don't know how much body work I want to do out yeah. on public land. Yeah. If we had Kay's house. Well, we'd be doing it interior, most of it. Well, the body work's on the outside that I'm talking about, and the windows and stuff. Do I look okay to back up? Yes, there's no one coming that way. All right. Okay, take this. Okay. Shut her off. Uh, text uh, Brandon for me, asking for an address, and do you still have both uh, rigs? And tell him we're coming to look at them. And then we'll call Air, uh, Bill and let him know that we are uh, that we are uh, gonna go look at another one, but uh, probably gonna pass. Okay. Take me to Sundance, Wyoming. All right, Sundance. Let's go. It's 6.30, maybe a little after, and I just fueled up, cleaned the windshield, grabbed some coffee, topped off the oil and windshield wiper reservoir. I got about five and a half hours of sleep last night. Tisha's gonna sleep a little bit longer with the dogs. And we are gonna go to Sundance, Wyoming to look at a couple of school buses. The more I think about that shuttle bus in Elizabeth, Colorado that needed a windshield and a ton of other stuff, I just think that thing's been used up. It's it's uh, more used than I'm looking for for this rig for Tamara. So <clears throat> these uh, school buses are in really good shape. They're wanting more money for them, but we'll see what we can do on the price. I still think I'd rather get her a nicer rig with less funds to build it out with than the other way around. So. I haven't heard from this guy. I, he won't answer phone calls. I've been texting. He sent me one text uh, now a day and a half ago that said he still has both. I think he probably has them. And because I think that, I'm going to take the risk of driving what's going to be probably 267 miles to, just on the chance that we catch him and, and get these things. So wish us luck. Hello everyone. We had a great time here at the Van Build here with Jamie. Uh, really want to suggest that you possibly you support this channel through Patreon. Uh, there was a lot of money that went into this uh, this event. I, I think none of us had any idea uh, before we even started. This was just a cargo trailer, just totally empty, and uh, here we sit in it now. And uh, we didn't do this alone. We did this with with all the help of, of the community here. And um, just really, really been, been happy with that. Yeah, there's been so much support um, throughout this whole thing, and Jamie has done so much to help people make this happen. So um, anything that anyone could do if they wanted to would just kind of allow that to keep happening. Um, I know that it's been a lot of time and commitment for a lot of people who are here. So um, if other people wanted to, weren't able to actually be at the event, but wanted to somehow participate um, in this or in other videos that Jamie produces, then it's a beautiful way to do it. Thank you. And Haley, definitely look at the enthusiasm here. Um, she's been flipping her ball over there, and she definitely wants some, some support as well. So thank you so much for watching. We love you all.